While more people are getting the COVID-19 vaccine, the CDC reports there has been a substantial drop in routine vaccinations and visits to the doctor's office during the pandemic. Superstar couple Gabrielle Union Wade and her husband Dwayne are taking part in a new public health campaign called Don't Skip. Here's a look. <laughs> we're skipping bedtime curfew. Yeah. But we're not skipping our children's well visits and recommended vaccines. Staying up to date helps protect them. So reach out to your child's doctor. No, oh, look at Shady Baby Kavya. We love her too. Actress, activist, author, and super mom Gabrielle Union Wade joins us this morning along with Amy Bassani. She is the executive director of the nonprofit organization Vaccinate Your Family to tell us more about Don't Skip. Let's start off with you, Gabrielle. Welcome to the show, ladies, first and foremost. Uh, Gabrielle, we, we know how much you and your husband, Dwayne Wade, love your family. You guys are so passionate about what you do with your family and you show it uh, using your platform. But why was it so important for you? to share what you know with other families out there. You know, because the health and wellness of our family is of huge importance to us. And, and we know that the health and wellness of your family is, is of huge importance to you guys. And so just to be a part of a campaign, you know, that we partnered with Merck and Vaccinate Your Families to create the Don't Skip campaign, because we know that everybody skipped a lot of things during the pandemic. But please, please, mm -hmm. please, please do not skip your doctor recommended vaccines and well visits. So just reminding families, you know, as, as the new school year is about to start, summer's here, travel travel, camp, um, to remind yourself and, you know, make sure that your children are up to date on their uh, vaccinations and their well visits. So just make contact with your doctor and get the ball rolling. And Amy, I want to ask you that, speaking of what Gabrielle just mentioned, you know, we are turning a corner with the pandemic, with folks traveling more, uh, folks getting to the summer camps. What are some of the reasons why vaccines are still being missed right now? Well, I think that families aren't quite aware, um, and, um, and there's new reports that are coming out that literally millions of children have missed their vaccines during the pandemic. And so that's really why we got together to create this Don't Skip campaign, just to get families to say to themselves, did my child potentially miss a vaccine? Did, did I miss a visit and I forgot to reschedule it? Or are they potentially due? Um, because right now is the time to call because pediatricians and other doctors, they get they get very busy um, as it comes to like back to school timeframe. So it's really important to start thinking about it now, make those appointments um, and ensure because diseases, they really have no bounds. And whether it's a child or an adult, um, they, do, they do take advantage of any opportunity. And um, we don't wanna see a single family suffer mm -hmm. the way that many have this year. Hey Amen, you want that prevention. I, I want both of you guys to answer this, but Gabrielle, I want you to start off because, you know, like, let's be honest, uh, in, in our community, and I know this is more than just about the COVID-19 vaccination. There's a lot of vaccinations that are out there, vaccines that are out there, but in our community, we're just a little bit skeptical when it comes to vaccines, some of us. So what is your way of educating them to, to make them feel a little bit more comfortable? Gabby, let's start with you. For me, it's just reminding people to talk to your doctors, talk to actual healthcare professionals, um, people who are familiar with your personal uh, health history, your family's health history, so they can make the best recommendations for y'all. Um, you know, I know it's, uh, you know, it's, it's popular to go online and, and to, you know, to, to call yourself doctors or, or you know, to, to listen mm -hmm. to, uh, you know, people who have very strong opinions online, but your doctor knows you and they know your health history mm -hmm. so they can make the best recommendations for your health and, and safety and the health and safety of your family as well. Um, so to don't leave it to chance and certainly don't leave it to the social media to, to, uh, to give you information. Um, you can also go mm -hmm. to don'tskipvaccines.com for information as well. Um, easy to understand, easy to digest information, and, and just please talk to your actual doctor. It's the best way that you can get mm -hmm. uh, the best health, health care for you and your family. And Gabrielle, you know, you're a busy mom, a super mom, as we know, and there's a lot of moms out there who look up to you and wonder how you do it all. When it comes to appointments, how do you keep track? Uh, you've got so many things, you know, so to speak, in the, in the pan right now, so many great things you're doing. How do you track this and what do you recommend for other moms who are just as busy? 
So for us at, at this house, it's a village. And I know for a lot of us, we have to rely on friends, family, um, you know, paid health care provider, uh, child care providers. Um, and what we do in our house is we have group chats where we're constantly updating mm. each other and mm. um, on, on whether that be uh, vaccination schedules, um, you know, practices, recitals, um, you know, where everyone actually is, what homework is, uh, is due. That way, mm. everyone is informed, everyone's on the mm -hmm. same page and, and nothing falls through the cracks. Uh, we're all leaning on each other right now. And for us, the only way to do that is to stay in constant communication. Um, and email, you know, group chats, text chains um, with your friends, mm -hmm. family, whoever you rely on to take care of, of your family, um, just so everyone stays on the same page. Because, you know, um, it's so easy for things to kind of fall through the, through the cracks. But if we have effective communication, you know, everyone can stay on the same page and we can all stay up to date. But it's it's absolutely hard. We moved geez, like seven members of our family in the last year to L.A. Wow. Uh, so we could all just increase our village and rely on each other uh, because that's all we have, you know, each other. Super powerful. Yeah, I love what you're saying about that. And it's so true. And you're talking about trusted voices. You know, we're working with the National mm -hmm. Council of Negro Women and we're just this amazing partnership with them. And it's all about um, research that's showing that even the survey that we did with them, it shows that people do trust their doctors for first and foremost. And Working with NCNW, we're, we're working to educate the 2 million women around the country um, who are going to go out there and help them understand. If it's your pastor that you trust, talk to your pastor, talk to your doctor. Um, but we need to make decisions for our families that are based on science. And there's a lot of mistrust, Amen. of course. There's a lot of historical um, health care problems with the system. And now is the time that we can fix them. The country's paying attention. And now we have to ensure that all those racial disparities completely get eliminated among children and adults once and for all. Well said, yeah, thank Amy. Thank you for saying that. Yes, yeah, well said, absolutely. well said indeed. Yes. And we've got to wrap up. We're, we're, we're short on time right now. But before we go, i got to ask you, Gabrielle, in that group chat, is there any... You know, anybody talking smack, you've got Utah Clippers. I know that Dwayne's invested now in the Utah <laughs> Jazz. They're up in the series lead. Anybody talking smack in the group chat? Oh, in our group chat? Oh, yeah. No, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> we're on a group chat with uh, Mr. Mel Hill and, and uh, Carrie Champion. Uh, Carrie, Carrie was talking a lot of smack, and then she got real quiet. Uh, her Lakers, <laughs> I, I'm not really sure, um, uh, Miss Carrie Champion. Uh, uh, um, and, you know, poor Jamel. Uh, you know, her, her, her Detroit yeah. teams ain't seen nothing in, She's in a, a thousand years. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's been a little quiet lately. <laughs> I've been, I've been doing the most talking, which is crazy. Uh, go jazz.